bruising everywhere, a couple of stitches here, um, fractured pelvic bone, tailbone area. Three days ago, Craig Yost went to work as a DPS delivery driver at the Edwardsville Amazon warehouse on what seemed like just another ordinary day. Normally we go in and drop off packages that were undelivered and return our tools that we get, but um, we were parking vans and being told to take shelter. He was inside of the building finishing his shift when an EF3 tornado hit the facility on Friday night around 8.30. I saw a flash of the lights, a flicker. I took a step to my right and I got the wall fell on me. Yost was trapped underneath one of the 40 foot tall concrete walls. First responders pulled him out just after midnight and then he was airlifted here to St. Louis University Hospital. I was concentrating on one thing and that was breathing because I was being crushed by that wall and from the, the, the time that it did take it went from I had a little room to none and it started to it started to crush my head at the end and that was scary. Yost took shelter in the same bathroom on the south end of the building where six people lost their lives. Those that weren't as lucky as me, I was as close to them as we are to one another in here now at that moment. A couple of them I worked very closely with, a couple of them I didn't know well, but if they were in that building and working there, they were good people. He's in recovery now and grateful to be alive, but heartbroken for the ones who didn't survive. Being able to even just talk to, but let alone hug and, and kiss the people that I love was amazing. I'm still thinking about those people that weren't as lucky as I was and, and their families, because I just can't imagine what they're going through. I can't.